When I'm heading out to film, sometimes all I need are the essentials, like a camera. Uh, okay, maybe a nicer camera. All right, we definitely need a lens. All right, that's better. Still need a card, so let's go ahead and pop that in. There we go. All right, and that's about it. Oh, wait, hold on, I need a battery. The essentials. All right, let's go. Once you have downloaded M Essentials via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your effects, and your titles. If you'd like to get a real-time preview of some of these, you can skim over those and check those out, and they'll be shown in your canvas. So you can see we have buttons, infographics, some intros that are really cool, overlays, placeholders, several tools, and then typography here in our titles section. So you apply just like any other title by simply clicking and dragging in on top of the clip that you would like to affect. As you can see here, we have this button and you're immediately presented with some on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. So you can very quickly place that where you'd like it in your scene. Over in our inspector, we have animations in and out, along with all of your position, rotation, scale, opacity, and blend modes. Then you have your text that you can toggle on and off and make changes here to your font. And then you have your bar, and you can offset this bar if you would like, just depending on the look that you're going for with that text. And then you can also make adjustments to the bar height, the width, etc. Moving down, we also have a bunch of infographics. We have some different callouts, which are really nice. So let me show you what a few of these look like. Again, simply click and drag that into the clip that you would like to affect with that title. So you can see here that that is beautifully animated in. And then we have a set of several on-screen controls. So we have a global on-screen control here for position, scale, and rotation. Then we have this on-screen control here that will move just your call out. And then we have this on-screen control at the bottom that you can set your call out in this way. And then if you would like to just grab your text and you can move your text in. Over in your inspector, you have all of the basics along with your text. And then you can see here that you have the text offset. If you want to fine tune that, we could change our text. And then we can go in, we can change our text color, the animated color. We can do the animated color spread. So you can see here that it's just kind of animating in. So really, really nice, really pretty. And then we have our line that you can toggle on and off along with the color, width, etc. Then we get into our intro section. These intros are really nice, really beautifully animated. A bunch of different options here. So if you just drag this in on top of your clip, then you can see that that is going to start our video. We've just got this really cool kind of cutout text here. And then it animates in on top beautifully and then just comes right out and reveals the clip beneath so these are really nice so again you have this on-screen control and what's really cool about this on-screen control is it's going to affect everything so you can see that if we go back it's affecting our text here but then as we move forward that is also going to affect your box that comes in later and animates this box is really cool too because it's very three-dimensional looking and feeling as you can see here really really nice and then you can make any additional changes to the text and such over in your inspector here so you can see here we have overlays we have three of these so we have blurred frame if you'd like to just set a frame in on top of your scene with a blur then we have our letterbox animating in 
and then we have this radial blur. So really cool, we can just very quickly add a blurred frame in on top of our shot here. And then you can see that that just kind of animates in. And then we have that blur, we have that frame. We do have additional on-screen controls here so we can change where we want that content to be. So if we wanted to just like animate it in and maybe set it down on the side or something like that, or over to the side and have some text going on over here, you have those options with this blurred frame overlay. And then over in our inspector, we've got animations in and out. We can change the frame around this, as you see there. We can change the X and Y scale here. If you don't want to use your on-screen controls, change the position, etc. And then we have the defocus amount. Now it is maxed out with a slider at 25, but if you click and just drag this up, you can see that more and more blur will be added to that. And then below we have background brightness. This is really cool to use some tools or you can use some typography, something like that. Maybe we want to add chapters so we can go into our tools section, bring that back. And then you can see that that kind of blurs in along with the chapters that we may be using. Again, we have on-screen controls, so we can just kind of bring that over if we would like. You can select where you would like that to go on this kind of vertical timeline here so that's really cool this is really helpful too if you have a lot of text going on and then you want to just create some space really quickly there's an easy way to do that with those on-screen controls over in our inspector we can change the number of chapters so you have six but you can change that to three and then you know you could trim that down or however you would want to do it so it makes it super, super easy, super simple with those on-screen controls and then the additional published parameters here in our inspector. Let's move on down just a bit. So if we wanted to use some of these tools, we can use some arrows are really nice. You saw that uh, really cool bent arrow in our intro there. Uh, we have a camera zoom, so you can just kind of zoom in, zoom back out really quickly. Those are cool. We have a focus section here, so maybe you're creating a tutorial or something. That's what's great about M Essentials is these tools are essential. They are really kind of used for any type of video and every type of video. You've got a little bit of everything in here that all works well together. I really love this loading frame as well. Really, really nice, super simple to use, but it's a great way to indicate if a chapter or a section of a video is going to be over soon. You're just kind of visually letting your viewers know how long until the next section or the end of that video. Really cool. All right, now let's look at some of the typography here. So we have some different beautiful typography. We have a description. We have this awesome list that animates in. We have a second list here. Uh, we have some lower thirds, which are really nice. You saw those in our intro as well. And then we've got some titles, subtitles. Again, I mean, you get a little bit of everything. So why don't we just grab one? Let's just grab title two here. Bring that in. We can bring this back. And then again, we have an on-screen control here. So if we wanted that to just kind of come in here and it's just going to animate in really beautifully, boom, animates in. We have the word storytelling, used our on-screen controls, and then we have any additional parameters here. Super simple, super easy to use. All right, so why don't we look at our effects? We have a few different effects. So we have this avatar here. We have a placeholder. And then we have a split screen and that is, let me highlight the actual clip so you can see what's going on. So there we go, we have an avatar. So this is super, super cool. Um, the placeholder is really nice. And then we have split screen. So this is so useful if you are wanting to just move something over really quickly and maybe add some text or something like that, or you can do that on top of a clip. So I'm actually going to bring this clip over and let me just retime it really quickly and what's going to happen is we can add we can do avatar we can do placeholder 
and split screen. I'm going to do the placeholder. So I'm just going to apply that on. And then you can see that we have that kind of pops in and it's that video playing really, really nice. We can set our video here or we can, uh, you know, change that to whatever section we want. So maybe we want it to be here and maybe we want our title on top. So then we've got like storytelling. Uh, anyway, you can just do some really cool stuff. We're just making this up on the fly right now, but you can create some really beautiful compositions and they all animate together so beautifully. So you can see, boom, just really, really cool. And then the last thing I want to show you are the transitions. So M Essential comes with 11 transitions. If you want to see those, again, you can scroll over top just to get a real-time preview as to how these look. There are a lot of different options here. We've got this super cool frame blur swap. We have a frame slide. We've got some really cool text implemented in some of these transitions, which I really love. So why don't I show you one of these? We've got this text zoom out. So I'm just gonna bring this in between these two clips here. And then you can see that that transitions with that super cool text and then boom, pops right into the next scene here. So inside of that transition, pretty simple over in our inspector, we can change the text position here if we would like on that call out. And this is from our button. So let me just disable that so you can see what's going on here. Change the text position there if you'd like. You can change the text scale. Obviously, you can change the text itself. Scale that down. And then any additional just quick parameters there at the bottom. So really cool. Just kind of pops in and then boom, animates that next section in. Really nice. And then all of these transitions are going to work similarly, of course. Why don't we show you just one more? We can show you the frame blur swap that is one of the ones that we used in our intro there so really cool it just kind of animates there and again i mean such a simple simple transition not a lot in the inspector there but that's all you got to do drag and drop boom and it's beautiful awesome and that is about it from me. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. M Essentials is now available. We can't wait to see what you do with it. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.